What's up guys, Gokai Ranger for Last Action Heroes Toys and here we are today with the full spread of Imaginex action figures from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We've been waiting on these guys for a little while, finally seen them at Toys R Us, picked them up, had to, had to get them all. <laughs> so let's go over, uh, let's start with the putties because I know we're all really excited they finally come out with like a three pack of putties. They got it right. Uh, the putties look fantastic. Um, they have, uh, their legs are locked together just like any Imaginex figure. They have, their arms go up and down and around and around, up, down, round and around, and the mobility of up is about that high. I'll let you get a good close look at him. They have very little paint on the back side, but they are very detailed to be a kid's toy. You know, a lot of the putties that we got, I mean, you could make these look even better if you wanted. A uh, couple Sharpies, really just go all out with them, but I think these look great. Um, I love that you get a three pack. Now, the figures come, uh, like the putty pack comes three in a pack for $7.99. The Rangers come two in a pack for $7.99. And one thing I think we're all really excited to know, you can make the Power Blaster. I'm really excited and we're going to build it for you today. First, let's go ahead and let you get a better look at each figure. This is the Green Ranger. His Dragon Dagger looks <laughs> kind of ridiculous. It is huge. Well, it's, it's as big as he is. <laughs> There's no shield. Um, I think we could probably paint one on him because, you know, it just, I don't know, he, he looks naked. And they didn't do the original. They went with the Spirit Ranger helmet. As you can see, I guess to give his character and helmet a little bit more depth. Um, looks to me like they messed up on mine a little bit, if you can see his helmet. So... You got his Dragon Dagger. Now let's go with Zack, whose Power Axe looks awesome. Could use a little bit more detailing too, but once again, you guys keep in mind, these really aren't for collectors. These are for little kids, so. But I think they're really cool though, uh, the way they come out. They've got some good detailing on the boots. So they look pretty fantastic. Trini, she's always she's always kind of hard to stand up because of her daggers there. But uh, I think she looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Did a pretty good job with her. We got Billy and his two lances. Be a better look at him. I need to get me a rotating table. So, I think he looks really good. We got Kimberly. I think they could have done a little better job on her helmet. But, all in all, I mean, she looks really good. She looked like she got man hands. She can manhandle you in the face. Call those her putty busters. <laughs> All right, and we already seen Jason in the last video, but I'll show you what if there's any difference. If you guys see a difference than the one that comes with this compared to this, I don't know if you see a difference in the in the coloration. This one I think is a little bit lighter. It's two Jasons. Wow. So. Let's put him back over here. All right, now the moment you guys have been waiting for, let's build the Power Blaster. All right, you got your Power Lance, and uh, I think if I remember right, you just, this kind of just slides up in there, like that, where you just kind of slide it up in there together. The bow's just kind of resting there. Then you've got 
lance. Which I can't remember if the lances go on the inside or the outside, so we're going to put them on the inside today. Okay. Take the two daggers. The two daggers. And then last but not least, you need the power sword. Lock the power sword in place. Turn these lances around. There we go. Uh oh. I think I started with the sword when I messed with this the other day, and that really kind of helped hold everything together. But uh, there we have <laughs> our Imaginex Power Blaster. This thing is ridiculous how big it is. Let's see if we can get the Rangers to hold it up. Have Jason back here. And let's see. Let's see if we can do something like this. them like we do in the show. And we'll just rest that. Ah, we can. I mean, get them out wide enough, I don't think. Boom. I know Jason's supposed to have his hands up, but he's kind of holding it. So, there we go. We've got the uh, Power Blaster set up. And then, of course, Tommy's over here like, What? That's ridiculous. So, yeah. I think that's... Uh, says it all right there you know $7.99 each get your own power blaster most people they spend what $50 uh, per figure on the SH Fig Arts just so they can build that okay from what I think if you're wanting a power blaster that you can use maybe to you know do some toy shots or just have a good time with without spending the money there you go there's a cheap, easy power blaster that you could have for your figures, for your collection, for your display, whatever you're going to do, use it for. There you go. And to be honest with you, the figures ain't bad. Uh, my son, you know, he approves. He played with every bit of this last night, so he really enjoyed himself. So I think uh, I got to give Imaginex the thumbs up on these. These are definitely worth the money. Please stay tuned. Uh, I'll be on the hunt for the Megazord. Now, he is going to be priced at $59.99. I know he's high, but a lot of people, including me, you know, he's going to be bigger than Goldar. So, you got to kind of keep that in mind. He's a big Imaginex playset. That's probably the first Mighty Morphin playset that we've gotten since the Power Dome in 93 if that tells you anything. So this is something that everybody's really excited about. I'm really excited about it. And as soon as we get it, I promise to post the video. We'll do a full review on it. We'll break it down. We'll give you the pros and the cons. So stay tuned uh, for more great videos. Like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me what you think. See ya.